don't be that one person in dance classes with the Crocs. Welcome back to our channel, y'all, and we'll be going over Steezy's top 10 favorite dance sneakers, in no particular order, for a variety of dance styles and purposes. We looked at four main things, weight, material and features of the shoe, what type of movement it's best for, and price. Let's start with the cheapest shoe on the list, the Champion Gusto Runner. Also known as the Gusto Cross Trainer, this shoe is great for first-time dancers and even seasoned veterans. It's lightweight, breathable, and comfortable with its memory foam insole. The Gustos are best for being light on your feet and getting your knees up, so check out your local Payless shoes to get it for as low as $15. Next, the Puma Suede Classics. The Classics are a mid-weight shoe with a signature one-piece suede upper. The sole is dense but surprisingly flexible, which makes the Puma Suede's great for stomping, sliding, shoe tricks, and especially for styles like b-boying and crumping. A longtime dancer favorite, these sneakers were one of the first shoes that b-boys and b-girls wore. You can get it today at a very affordable price tag for as low as $20 and as high as $65. Moving on, the Adidas Gazelles. The Gazelles are a great alternative to the Puma Suede's if you're looking for something a little lighter. The shoe's materials and rubber soles are pretty similar. Just don't be expecting to be stomping in these because they'll be wearing out a bit faster. We recommend these for its fresh colorways and for dancing faster, starting as low as $20 and up to $80. Stomping in next, the Air Force Ones. At first glance, these might look bulky, but they're much lighter than they seem. Mid-weight with a thick sole and premium leather upper. These shoes are a favorite for anyone to glide, juke, turf, stomp, or hit a sick toe spin. For standard adult sizes, these are around $90 for basic colorways like a classic all-white, and the most expensive colorways can go up to $1,000. Well-balanced and the only New Balance shoes on this list, the 574s. This is the most customizable sneaker on this list, where you can change materials and colors on almost every part of the shoe down to the tongue label. It's sturdy in construction, deceptively lightweight, cushiony with a comfortable foam sole, as well as light floor grip, making it a standout shoe for sliding, spinning, and staying on your toes. Basic colorways cost as low as $30, and you can customize it for $150. Boosting its way in, the Adidas Ultra Boost. It's hard not to think this shoe feels like a sock with how comfortable it is, but unlike most sock-like shoes with the upper cage and padded collar, grips to the feet surprisingly well. The Boost foam sole is made from these bouncy white energy capsules that stick around the heel to midfoot, but the grip pattern gives it a better performance feel than similar shoes like the NMDs. The Ultra Boosts are good for switching from heel to toe, jumping, sliding, spinning, and long rehearsals. You can get these shoes for as low as $60 to as high as $640. Next up, everyone's favorite trash shoe to dance in, the Vans Authentics. Full disclosure, we love Authentics, but we're calling them out for one reason, the sole. The problematic signature waffle cone sole is oddly both dense and too thin at the same time, so it's really easy to see why people have mixed feelings about this shoe. For dancing, we recommend being light on your toes and keeping your feet flat on the ground. Honestly, we're all probably so gonna dance in them anyways. The Authentics have tons of great styles with different materials, colors, patterns, and can feel really great to dance in. And you can find these for around $60 and up. And then there's the Vans' hotter older sister, the Old Schools. These are a step up from the Authentics because the padded collar and longer laces give better lockdown onto your feet, but you'll be experiencing the same problems with the sole. You'll have a better time shifting your weight from heel to toe with the extra lockdown, but make sure to stay light on your feet and you'll be feeling like the coolest kid in school. Prices start at around $60 and up. Up next, the Nike Air Jordan 1s. This iconic shoe from Michael Jordan stands out with recognizable colorways like the band Chicago's, well-designed toe flexibility, great lockdown around the feet, and solid ankle support. The Air Jordan 1s are versatile for a variety of different dance activities like jumping, light and fast footwork, and gliding. Pricing for these shoes depend heavily on the colorways, starting as low as $65 to about over $2,000. For example, these blue off-whites in Isabel Capitule's Kelly Price video cost about $1,000. We see you, Isabel. Get ready for some turtle power with the Adidas Superstars. Adidas' most popular shoe earns this spot due to its long history with dance culture. Its original production was in 1969 with the birth of hip-hop in 1973, making this shoe an original dancer classic alongside the Puma Suede's. These shell toes take a while to break in, making them an ideal training shoe for footwork, toe spins, b-boying, and gliding. You can find these for as low as $15 or up to $80. Shoes are an integral part of dancer fashion and culture, but most importantly, they affect how we dance. 
Even for the most experienced dancers, choosing the right dance shoe is a must, especially if you're going to be wearing them more than anything in your closet. Now when you're looking for your next dance shoe, keep these three things in mind. Feet come in all different shapes and sizes. Your feet are gonna swell, so choose your sizing wisely and take care of your shoes to keep them performing the best every time. If you want some more information, make sure you check out the description box on why and how to do these three things. Thank you for watching this video. Did you think we were spot on with this list? Comment below with your favorite dance shoes and subscribe to CZ's YouTube channel for more fun and helpful dance videos. Damn, Ernie.